Day four, Hispanic Characters Month. I'm running a little late, but bear with me. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. You already know who it is. It's that guy, Ralph, your third favorite YouTuber, with day four of Hispanic Characters Month. Yes, I'm running late, and yes, I know you're seeing this on day five, but it's day four. This video is day four. Anyway, before I go any further, please be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Right. Uh, when you subscribe, please ring the bell so you can get any notifications of the video, new content, and just overall, we'd be cool. Right. And also subscribe and also share because I'm trying to reach 100. So please help me. Anyways, day four, Hispanic Characters Month. Drum roll, please. Alina of Avalar. That's right. I know I caught everybody off guard. Disney Princess, I know. But crucial, very crucial. Um, I don't know much about her. I just Googled her and find out what I can. I don't really know much about her. I haven't really seen her any of her stuff. I have two boys, and I don't know what this other baby is. But for now, I'm just going on whatever I know. Before I go about Alina, I have to bring up Sophia the First. The reason being is because Sophia the First, in the beginning, was rumored to be Disney's first Latina princess, and everybody was talking about it. But they, the creators, or one of the Disney executives, actually said like she wasn't meant to be a Latina princess. She was, is supposed to be based off of imaginary place. It seems to take place in a lot of Hispanic uh, ideas, but it's not. So what they decided was with the same idea is to make one. So they made a spinoff one, which was Alina of Avalar. And that's, uh, Alina is actually the first Disney Latina princess. Uh, the reason why I picked her is because one, my girlfriend actually told me, suggested it. And... After thinking about it, it makes perfect sense because little girls need a Disney princess. It's like Jasmine and Mulan and Princess and the Frog. Why can't Latinas have one? So, Alina. Uh, from what I know of, she has two seasons already. And she first uh, aired in July of 2016. Um, if anybody has any more info on her, please, you know, drop the uh, in the comments below. Let me know about her. But I haven't checked out any of her stuff um, it's just very important that we get that type of recipe. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Somebody to show us. <laughs> just like everybody else has one. You know, now I feel like Latina should have one too with uh, Alina. The cool thing about her from what I read was that she does a lot of adventures, a lot of magical trips, and she doesn't have a big head like Dora. So that's really cool. But I think um, this is what people need. People need diversity and it needs to be done correctly, and I think that's why they didn't make Sophia the first, the the Latina. That they're like, you know, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right. So respect to Disney for doing that, even though it's kind of like, you know, fucked up that they they made on the Sophia idea, but they picked it back up. All right, so I think that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Alina Alvavilar. If you can check her out, if you have daughters or nieces or whoever, have them check her. All right. That guy Ralph, the character of a YouTuber. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, road to 100. Please, people, subscribe. Get people to subscribe. Really need this. It helps me out a lot. Now, I appreciate it a lot. All right? So, good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you watch. Enjoy the rest of your day. Rub your nipples. Stay sexy. And remember to laugh because life is too short. All right? Adios, mi gente.